Good morning, folks. We've got three articles to hit today on adaptation, solar flares, and solar climate forcing. But first, we've got a bit of space weather to go over from Friday night and Saturday, and we'll begin with the last 24 hours on our star, and you'll see Earth-facing snaps in motion, but it's all contained within the corona. Limb eruptions are aimed away from Earth, but we had the onset of the corona hole stream Friday night that triggered low-level geomagnetic storms off and on for a period of 21 hours, and it's waning back now. Any solar wind perturbations today could cause further geomagnetic reverberations, but let's go to the science, where we get a nod to the approximately 20 stories we've covered in the last decade, where scientists are baffled at how quickly animals are evolving or adapting to our changing world. As we have seen suggested before, the stresses trigger these types of changes, not to mention the changing geomagnetic field and cosmic ray bombardment profile of every living thing on Earth right now. Yes, yes we are, monkey. Up next, let's go to solar flares, and it's a shame our eyes can't see in the full electromagnetic spectrum, because we wouldn't have waited so long to discern the electrical excitement of the ionosphere during those flares. The increased conductivity, Hall currents, changing ionospheric boundary heights, just one of the ways the sun touches the ceiling of the global electric circuit, which then has the ability to touch the atmosphere all the way to the ground. Last but not least, no fancy animations here, just an uppercut to climate science. Folks, the solar control of the North Atlantic Oscillation and Arctic patterns is second only to solar control of the El Nino cycles in the realm of how well we understand solar forcing of major oscillations. But it creeps closer here, as the annual and solar cycle patterns are actually manifestations of daily regulation. Solar wind, solar flares, geomagnetic storms, and if you didn't know, the North Atlantic Oscillation controls the winter harshness in the north more than any other global scale pattern. Channeling chapter 4 of our textbook, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun, there, you can get all of our books and more at otf.cells.com. We greatly appreciate your support. Hopefully we're all adapting like that, monkey. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.